welcome to the ninth mission of the scripted historical campaign Steel Bird, outlining the action of the Focke Wolf 190 equipped ground attack unit during the Kuban campaign in early 43. Um, today's mission is uh, in relation to uh, armed recon. There's some background to the storyline of the pilot. I again gonna put it all in the description in the video so you can uh, read it when you have the time. Um, the mission quite simple. We launch at the Anapa. Apparently there has been some reports over heavy Soviet traffic in the northern sector, north of Krimskaya, and we need to investigate. Um, we get permission to attack any ground targets we find. So we're actually equipped with uh, four 50 kg bombs. I already mentioned in the previous videos. I don't really like that loadout because that great thingy which holds the bulbs cannot be jettisoned after you drop them and it does reduce your speed substantially. So yes, uh, before you drop them it's 83 kilometers and after you drop them you're still losing 40 kilometers. Comparing it to the normal ETC 501, so the um, you know the connector for normal bombs, after you drop those, no, it doesn't show, but you know, believe me, the, the drop in speed is substantially lower after you lose that bomb. So yeah, 40 kilometers lower maximum speed after drop bomb, and a mission which lead me behind enemy lines. So greatest combination ever. Um, in terms of historical accuracy, obviously they flew these types of missions a, a lot. And there was actually a report on the experience of a similar equipped ground attack units in the northern sector of the Eastern Front from like 44, um, composed by one of the officers. And he actually outlined that the units would operate in a manner that in the morning they will launch, you know, a pair similar to this mission or even a, a swarm, i.e. four planes, in the morning to do recon at the first slide. So they will just fly across the front line, check out the Soviet positions, you know, attack some of them, but then what they have reconned would be basically a battle plan for their planes during the day. Because obviously, you know, the assets of the Soviet moves constantly and, you know, they were effectively responsible for reconning their own targets. So, yeah, we're going to proceed from Anapa toward Krimskaya, turn north at that small village and then go over the front. We go, go to Troitskaya, Troitskaya and then Slavanskaya. I guess this is an airfield we need to watch out, some trucks and trains. Well, let's see how it's going to work out. Um, then without further ado, let's jump into the mission itself. Welcome to another mission of the scripted historical campaign Steelbirds. We're again at Anapa. We see our great 450 kg bombs. And some nice 109 overflow. Let's get going. Yeah, interesting mission today. Do some recon, stay on front lines. And off in the air. The wingman is there. Track flaps. Track the gear. Well, hopefully one and I are going in the same direction and can provide some support when they're at the um, front line. Let's turn east and then proceed to the Krimska area. So we're running at a Krimska area and we're soon going to turn north to um, follow our recon pattern. 
Be some context moving down there. Somebody streaming. Ground fire. Is calling attacks on enemy fighters. Streamer does look like a Soviet fighter. Maybe again a kill of opportunity. Yeah, pointy wings. It does fly in the direction I need to go anyway. Oh, let's take a poke. Oh, some good hits. That should be enough for like that. Turn your nose up again. Boom, splash. That was a quick one. Okay, that's the front line, just beyond that river and the bridge. I do like how it is in campaign. Really shooting, explosions, fire. Okay, there's a enemy artillery position. From that, but our mission is to recon road and train movements, so let's do that. And there is a flag battery, that's not great. Ah, my wingman is still with me, that's a good sign. Yeah, there's a smoke from a train. You can attack them too. Looking forward to the magic of AI now and give him an order to attack ground targets. Ah, and there's another one. And uh, something like looks a plane going for a landing. That one seems to be static, so I can always come back and strafe that guy. Ah, here are the trucks people were talking about. Uh, it's always hard to hit them with 50 kgs. That, that's something I can play with. So I think I have like two seconds on my bomb, so I need to drop them ahead of the train. Maybe then do a left turn and try to hit that guy. 
Well, let's go for that train. So aim ahead of the first one and hope that you hit the length. Okay, dropped all four. Ah, so okay, two were on the side, but two hit and beautifully hit the locomotive. Nice. So that train is not going anywhere. This is my excitement and turn the wrong way. Ah, this is Slavanska airfield, a well-known Soviet airbase. do the following. I'll try to cut into his path and do a head-on. Yeah, that was a good hit with 250 kg bombs on the moving train. A bit bold, but hey. Hopefully the flag is going to be confused by my very bold move. Nice. Time to get out. And look maybe at that other train or the trucks. Hmm, what's that? Oh shit, that does look like enemy fire. Always get behind the loss in the Congo. I guess one of nines. Ah, okay, so it's good. Who are those guys? Ooh, they're gonna massacre the Po 2s. That's funny. Ouch. Was that okay? That's a rare gunner of Po 2. Now, unfortunately, you're go boom. That was a payment for attacking a plane with a rare gunner. It seems fuel and a hole in my cockpit, but otherwise. Nothing serious. It's gonna be a louder flight home. Still have cannon rounds. So I'm gonna go for a strafing round on that train. Plenty of fuel, so I'm not really concerned about the fuel leak. That was a bit stupid. Let's do a good straight run.
That was a good straight front. Yeah, you see people running from the train, going up in flames. Yeah, that was good. Okay, having a six is less good. Is he alone? Negative, he has a wingman. Now that will become interesting in a second. I'm not outrunning them, so I'll need to... Pulling G's, pulling G's... Oh, shit, I turned the other guy. Two versus two, you need to get the guy before the one gets... And there's obviously no dishonor in running. Still two guys on me. Try to pull him on our side of the front. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, it seems to be also Russians. Hmm. I do find myself in a pickle. So my hope is to drag them to Krimska to the flag positions and hopefully more fighters. Yeah, the reason obviously I'm not flying as fast is that I have the this genius device strapped to my plane. We mentioned before it doesn't drop if you drop all your bombs, so it's eating at least 40 kmh from my speed, which sucks. Otherwise obviously we have left those yucks way behind me. So we're over Krimska now, I think the flag positions are on the other side. Thank you, now... It's the moment where we can start playing around. Pull G's, continue pulling G, ah, hits, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Four of them, that's not great. G hits. I have a little damage now, but at least I have flat. Come on, come on, come on. Good 
that is a death blow. Okay, nose down, get a little bit more speed, drag them to those flag positions again. Thank you boys, you're gonna get a bottle of schnapps. Great, they already got one. So I got one, the flag got one, so we have only two to be bothered with. Ah, oh, there's another one smoking. Good, I like it. Here we go, another crash. That's good, that's good. Okay, I think we had enough fun for one day. And it's time to hit home. Okay, so I'm losing fuel. I got and by the windshield status, I guess the oil radiator. It's actually the ring around the engine. Bird is a little bit unstable but still flying well. The flag is ripping those yaks apart, so my escape is complete. Now, the million dollar questions Am I gonna make it to Anapa? What I don't like is that the um, RPM indicator is uh, jumping a bit. That's an indication of internal damage. So that pressure valve indicator seems to be outside the normal range. There's no way I can glide to Anapa, so I need to get there. Maybe a 10 minute flight. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and see if I can make it. Well, and yet again, a superior engineering of Dr. Kurt Tang has brought me home. Despite considerable damage also to the engine, I have arrived at Anapa, and it does seem that the engine will hold out for a couple of minutes more to enable a clean landing. So you see um, obviously the oil um, film on the screen, the planes actually had a, a, a system to clean the windshields from these oil stains, usually not in case of a damage, but sometimes the engine just, you know, spit out a little bit of oil and you see those tubes with small holes on the left and right side on the outside of the window and there is um, this yellow um, thingy below the upper row of instruments and if you turn it you would actually open a small valve outside which will pump um, petrol for those small openings effectively cleaning the windshield uh, from oil stains and you can see that it goes down and up the 109s have also a similar system unfortunately not modeled in the game but I guess you know but it's uh, too much effort for something which will probably not be used so often. But we'll be 
clearly useful in this situation because the visibility front is mediocre. Right. To build a bit faster on the approach because the bird is damaged. Didn't lose any of my flaps. And I'm trying my gear. Yep, we have the dual control. We have the lamps which go green. And we have the two red indicators on wings. Both show that the gear is up, down, sorry. I continue to add a little bit of engine power because the visibility is bad, it's hard to judge if I have the right angle. And I'm concerned that because of the damage of the wings I might drop at a higher altitude than the normal stall speed. Yep. And stick back and we're rolling with a bit of brakes. And yes, we have arrived at an Ampa airport after surviving a mix-up with at least four enemy yucks. So that's the catch of the day. Four fighters, so the, the one I got in the beginning, I think the one which landed, they gave it to me, the Po2, which did damage me, that was a stupid move, and the one whom I shoot down at the end when I had this melee over our own flag. One locomotive and eight earlier cars, that's a combination of the bomb drop, which was beautiful, and my strafe, and two AAA guns, okay, sometimes they have small AA guns on the trains and they count as separate targets. All alone, I think not a bad outcome for the mission. Well, that concludes uh, this mission. Thank you for watching. Um, click like button, click subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, I appreciate feedback in the comments below and we see each other in the um, next uh, mission. Oh Jesus, there's like a big hole here. Whoa, they really ripped my kite apart. Hey guys, see you later, thank you.